Today I want to show you how awesome the knockdown connector set is by Festool for the DF700. My last two commissions have re required this set. I could not have assembled them ahead of time. They are great for putting together large pieces of furniture and for anything that you have to disassemble in the future. This is especially great for us military families that are moving constantly. Stay tuned. <laughs> My last commission project was a wraparound pecan live edge mantel. It had to be supported on both sides by steel posts and I could not put the cap on ahead of time. So I used this connector set to assemble the cap once I had the, the mantel secured to the wall above the fireplace on both sides. I really couldn't think of another way to do it that would have adequately supported all the weight of this. It turned out beautiful and the miters were really tight. The next project that I could not have done without this system was the 14 foot long table we built for some dear friends. It was in seven pieces and there was no way I could transport 14 feet to their house an hour away. So we packed it up with blankets and we brought it there and we assembled it on site and it worked perfectly. It goes without saying that you're going to need a DF700 to make use of the system. You're also going to need a 14 millimeter cutter because the whole system operates off of that 14 millimeter. Additionally, there are sets for the DF500 that work almost exactly the same. Here are a few examples of how this connector set can join wood. First, butt joints and table halves can be put together seamlessly, and also bed frames and table stretchers. A couple of my favorite things about this knockdown connector set. First is quality, which is an expectation from Festool at this point. All these components are high quality. They're like nothing you're gonna get anywhere else in a box store or Ikea. Second, as the system is drawboard by design, which guarantees tight seamless joints. For example, in this butt joint, you have a post hardware that lives right here with two of the locking mechanisms on each side. And this joint is just strong as an ox and you can barely see it, it looks really great. The next joint I wanted to show you is this, this joint here. Um, this is what you'd use for like a table skirt or a stretcher. There is no pulling this apart and this joint looks fantastic. One of the first things I should mention is that this system operates off of the 14 millimeter cutter and it uses 14 millimeter dominoes. The dominoes are integral into the system. You must use them. They can twist or be loose without them. So make sure that you're using 14 millimeter dominoes. The first part of the system I want to show you is this two sided post. This is a common way to use the system and you'll be able to get kind of maximum joint tightness with both sides being able to be drop board tight. You can use the plastic clips as seen in the middle here in two combinations, either one on each side or one in the center. It doesn't affect the strength, it's just for alignment purposes. The next component that you're going to need to complete the joint are these metal anchors uh, and the, the bolt that goes in to lock them closed. They go into perpendicular mortises and when you tighten up the key with the supplied Allen wrench, it will draw the joint close together. That's one way you can use this system. Another way to use this system is with a single sided post as seen here. What you do with this is you place an anchor in a mortise and as you tighten the post, it spreads these flanges apart and grabs pretty permanently into the sides of the wood. You're not going to get this piece back out. It's going to live in there forever. Once that's tight, you're going to go through and use the same um, anchor with the bolt on it on the other side, just like you did showed you previously. You're also going to use these plastic clips when you use the system in this way, but you can only put one on. There's only one configuration. Again, it just helps with alignment. Generally speaking, you're going to want to cut your posts into the center of your material, uh, which is something you're going to need for your future operation when you put the perpendicular anchors in. But a few quick numbers. Anytime you drill a post into the end of wood with this, you're going to need to drill it to a depth of 50 millimeters every time. It has to be 50 millimeters. Similarly, anytime you're using the anchor with the flange, you're always going to drill to a depth of 25 millimeters. Again, there's no other way you can use this except at a 25 millimeter depth. And you're going to do this all on center. The reason why you need to write down what your center height is, is because you're going to drill the perpendicular guides in to a depth of center plus 10 millimeters. So if you're drilling them at 25, you're going to drill to a depth of 35. 
You're going to set your fence though to 40 millimeters back from the edge so that it winds up in the right spot so it will drop or the joint close correctly. One other thing of note, and I've seen in a few videos where different people use wrenches to tighten these things up, um, you're spe specifically going to need the wrench to tighten uh, this post into the locking or the expanding anchor. I just want to point out that you can do all that with this Allen wrench. It might not be the easiest, but it's included in the box, so you're probably not going to forget it. You can just drop it through the hole and then twist on site, and you don't need any special wrench or tools. Once you've got everything assembled at your client's house and you want to finish off this look, what you're going to do is take one of these caps, whatever matches your finish cl close enough. There's light brown, dark brown, and more of a modern silver. They just snap into the mortises that you cut and now you can't see it anymore and it looks great. I want to real quick make two shout outs. First is to Jason Bent. If you want to see a high quality video of this set in great detail, go check out his video on YouTube. Secondly, Every single domino operation is made easier in some cases by having a domino dock. I highly recommend Ramon Valdez's dock. He's got plans, or you can buy them directly from him already assembled. I bought the plans and put it together in about an hour. It has been super helpful. Definitely check out this awesome knockdown set from Festool for your next big project. It is a lifesaver. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm about to be retired from the military, and I would love any support. Thanks so much.